The conflict in Northern Ireland, known as the Troubles, began in the 1960s and lasted for more than 30 years. In 1971, a new law was introduced giving the authorities the power to indefinitely detain people without trial. On the 30th of January 1972, a civil rights march took place in Londonderry in protest. Troops were deployed to the city. The march began shortly after 3 p.m. The intended destination, the Guild Hall in Derry city centre. However, army barricades blocked marchers from that area and the majority of people were directed towards Free Derry Corner in the bog side. Some protesters lagged behind and after skirmishes between young people and the army, paratroopers moved in to make arrests. Just before 4pm, stones were thrown and soldiers responded with rubber bullets, tear gas and water cannon. At seven minutes past four, soldiers made their way down Williams Street with orders to arrest as many marchers as possible. A short time later, Soldiers began to open fire on people in the Rossville Street area. According to army evidence, 21 soldiers fired their weapons on Bloody Sunday, shooting 108 live rounds between them. 13 people were killed on that day and 15 people were wounded. Two investigations have been held. In April 1972, the Widgery Tribunal largely cleared the soldiers and British authorities of blame and the report was widely criticised as a whitewash. More than 20 years later, in 1998, the Savile Inquiry was set up to establish a definitive version of events. It cost more than £190 million and answered a number of key questions regarding innocent civilians. That report was published in 2010. The then Prime Minister, David Cameron, apologised. The government is ultimately responsible for the conduct of the armed forces and for that, on behalf of the government, indeed on behalf of our country, I am deeply sorry. Some have criticised the cost of the Savile Inquiry, but the Bloody Sunday families have been calling for accountability, justice and closure for many years.